previous videos, Samuel's photo, and we have very kindly been gifted for the whole weekend this amazing XJ220 from Don Law Racing. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll have seen this car a few times. We are taking this car to uh, Supercar Drivers, which is a uh, sort of, would you say, a northern supercar club? Yeah. Uh, so every year they have their sort of season opener and they call it a secret supercar meet but there's about 300 supercars turning up so I don't know how secret it actually <laughs> it is, is. Secret, but, yeah. <laughs> but we thought because there's gonna be so many cars going chances are there's gonna be other 675 LTs even yeah. F12s and we thought what won't there be there <laughs> and hence the XJ to the land yacht exactly yeah uh, also I thought it'd be great to get Sam in the car because Sam's also an F40 owner and these were kind of similar similar eras yeah I, I aimed at doing a similar thing getting uh, achieving very high speeds for very cool brands <laughs> I know you haven't driven this yet but what's no. your experience of living with the, the F40 like the 40 is it's, it's, it's kind of funny because I I thought that that was my day. That my car's a '89, right? And they, so they were built from '87 to '91. Oh, boost! <laughs> so um, much talk. Sorry. And so we were looking up yesterday when these were made. These were '94 yeah. to '96. Is that what I said? Yeah. Uh, oh no, I think it was '92 to '94. '92 to '94. Yeah. So they're a little bit newer, but whenever I get in the '40, I feel like it's a that that for me sets the date of yes. of like what a 89 car is like and yeah. um, <laughs> well, yours, like, in, yours in comparison is incredibly stripped down but yeah, there's like nothing in it, there's nothing there's, in it. It's, it's, it's got aircon I mean this has electric windows this has got know? electric windows we've got a stereo the reclining seats yeah you know there's like lots of leather lots everywhere of leather, this lad, is definitely yeah. a GT car well you can see the like chassis welds on yours yeah. you can see everything or you can sort of be like, oh, yeah, yeah oh. <laughs> dunk, dunk. <laughs> but they, they definitely both have boost. Oh god, so this has the 80s lag, uh, where it's you can plant your foot. I mean, if you keep it in boost, it's brilliant. Like you, yeah. you, you ride the boost, you ride that torque, and this has a lot of it. It is thick with torque. But by god, if you don't get it right, you plant your foot, and it's like. Uh, yeah. Well, I did a leg down to Geneva last month in a friend's XJ220 and I had my laptop out on my lap and I was editing and we were having a chat. The chances of you doing that in the F40 are zero. No, no. Like, like, it is so loud. Yeah, my, my car is pretty loud. It's got very it's got straight vibes. Because it's yeah. an early car, it's got no, no cats or anything. And, the, and it's just like the overall <laughs> The whole time. It is hilarious. I would say the sound of it is definitely more of a sense of occasion than in this. But as a, as a car to sort of just, I mean, I think you have to think less about using this. Would you yeah. say with the yes, F40, I've, it's like, like a big straight deal. away, in yeah. terms of like driving and stuff, I feel like you can just you can just like put it in fourth and just like cruise around. Use it. Yeah. And it, it's got something about the size and yeah. like weight. Yeah. And the fact that we're like in quite a comfy, yeah, like comfortable isolated area it's makes it. a big difference. The 40, you, you can tell there's not a lot in it. Like it, it weighs about 11 oh, you kilos can, or something. And, and, and you can really tell it's and, light as well. It's super, super yeah. agile. And so, we've got like about an hour's drive. The best way of me explaining this is a runway packed full of some of the world's best supercars. Should be a really good day.
this F12 up front, this TDF. I just met the owner. Uh, he's very kind, very kindly invited me to drive it at some point. But uh, it, this is possibly my favorite car. This guy, this is a guy with the uh, Carbon LT Spider that was on my channel uh, twice now, I think. One at Signature, one when he picked it up. We've got an, another HS in a beautiful, like, purpley black shade. There he goes. And this is what it's all about. Supercars and petrol heads a go-go. <laughs> this is awesome, man. So good. GT2 RS. We got a 911R here. What a fabulous day out. So sunny. <laughs> Fast enjoyment. So has anything uh, caught your eye so far, Sam? I think uh, it's just the number of cars is just obscene. It is. It is uh, obscene. And, but also the quality, the caliber there, there of the is some, here. There is some mental stuff. But that fabulous. TDF is, is, is very nice. It's very nice, yeah. Uh, things like the R here is, is, is very... I find I it a very stuff. interesting car. I'd, yeah. love to, I'd love to brag one. Just try one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> brag it around and see. So up front, so we are in uh, wave two. Basically all of the hyper cars were in wave one. Yeah. Which are already all the way up the front of the runway. We're in w wave two, which is the sort of... Uh, Almost as cool, but not quite as expensive cars. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> There's a very nice Pro GT. Uh, for the car is just made up. Oh, I love of the wastegate on this thing. <laughs> yeah, it makes some great noises. things about events like this is that all your mates turn up you know everyone from the car world because while we do see each other we don't see each other that often and it's awesome to be able to bond about it and just look at look, look at what I'm seeing right now I've got this massive convoy of cars heading towards me tailed by an, a massive military plane by being towed by a tractor look at this I'm gonna step to one side is for I think just general petrol heads is for me this event has really started to be the event that kickstarts the whole season yeah, does, yeah. and you should be really proud of that I mean it's your event that really launches the whole supercar season yeah it is it's, it's, it's something step. to be super proud of and like I say it's just getting everyone together have an awesome day yeah so it's yeah what was your we hope to raise 10 grand, I think we raised 12 in a bit, which Fantastic. is awesome. And that brings our total to 50 grand for Blue Bubble Children's Hospice. So that's cool. But just getting everyone together. Yeah. And we obviously do this sort of pretty awesome photo shoot with all the specials on the front. And then a few more specials and then just everything. And 
incredibly, you've managed to get what we think is the first Chiron outside of a show environment. We're here, it's yeah. on the road, and it's at your event. Yeah, it's congratulations. Well, congratulations. It's fantastic. Yeah. To the owner, he literally got it a few days ago. Amazing, and isn't it? to bring it along and to surprise everyone as well, because no one knew it was so, coming, did they? No, not at all. Thanks for bringing the 220. It's quite all right. Well. Yeah, well, I was going to bring the LT, and Adam said, to be fair, there's a couple of LTs coming. Is there anything spicier you can bring? Phoned up Don Law, and they uh, dropped us in the XT 220. So thanks to Don for that. Yeah. But let me just leave you with the scene that me and Adam are sharing now. It's to the end of this fantastic event. Awesome. Thanks for coming, James. Cheers, mate.